You are now inside the book. The left window pane is referred to as the navigation pane. We will review each section within this pane. When the book first opens, the table of contents displays. Depending on how the table of contents was developed, you can drill down into a chapter to sections and subsections. Click the arrowheads to see entire organization of the book. Clicking on a section in the table of contents will take you to that section in the book. The numbers to the right of the chapters indicate the page number of the book. In books that contain a glossary, click Terms to see the entries. Click an entry to go to the definition. Some books do not include terms, so this tab will not display. Click this tab to see a list of figures and tables. Click a figure to see it in the book. Double-click a figure and it opens in a separate window where you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom to fit, and hide the caption. This feature is not available in Page Fidelity books. You can also show figures for a certain chapter by selecting from the drop-down menu. Click this tab to see notes. If you have previously made notes in the book, or if you are subscribed to someone else's notes, they will be displayed in the Notes pane. Clicking on a note will take you to that note in the book. Double-click to open the note in a separate window for editing. For first-time users, this pane will be blank. Within the book, you can search the book's text, figures, and notes. Enter a single word or phrase in the Search Text field to find each occurrence of that word. When searching for a phrase, put quotation marks around the words. The system will return which chapter, figure, and or note the term or phrase was found and how many occurrences there are for each result. By clicking on the results, you will be taken to that location in the book. Be sure to clear out the search criteria to discontinue the search and get back to the rest of the book. The right window pane is referred to as the reading pane. This is where you will read the book and highlight text to write notes, copy or paste, and print. Each of these activities is explained in their own module.